Hey guys, hello, hi, namaskara, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been really long since I posted a video on my channel. So um, to make up for it, I've come today um, with a new series that I'll be starting called uh, You Click I Edit. <music> I, I wanted to start this series from a really long time uh, um, because a lot of people on Instagram um, message me asking me how I edit my photos. Um, if you don't know already, I've got my, I've got a, a travel and photography Instagram page called Native World. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, the link is in the description below. So please check it out. So yeah, a lot of people ask me um, and so I was thinking I'll do a video about photo editing. I've already done two videos in my past, but to make this video interesting, I thought um, I'll ask people to send in their photos, um, the ones that they've clicked on their phone, um, just random photos about anything, anywhere. Um, and I'll try to um, edit those photos and bring the best out of it. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got a few photos um, here today um, that's that's sent, that's been sent by my friends on Instagram. So um, let's check it out. I'll try my best to um, improve um, these photos to make um, these photos look best to my ability. All right, guys. Before we start the editing, let me give you a small disclaimer. Um, I'm no expert in editing. Um, I just do it as a hobby and um, everything that I show you today is just uh, what I feel uh, looks good on these photos. You might have a different taste, you might uh, edit um, it differently but it's totally fine. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll just do uh, anything, everything that I um, can from best of my um, ability to make these photos look better that's it okay so um, the first photo that we've got here today is um, about this beautiful lorikeet um, which is also called coconut lorikeet or a rainbow lorikeet it's beautiful and so colorful um, yeah this this photo has been sent by Sitara uh, one of my really good friends in Australia um, so thank you Sitara for sending this uh, it's beautifully captured um, so one thing about um, one thing to keep in mind when when we're shooting a animal or a bird photo is their eyes so um, if you can capture the eyes then it that's the best way to capture animal or a bird so uh, eyes is really important when you're capturing a bird or animal so here in this photo the eyes is captured the subject which is the bird is in focus so good job half work is done there but I can see the background is a bit dull um, and also because the bird is really colorful I think if the background is plain uh, not so bright and uh, not so um, highlighted uh, I think it really look good so let's get with the editing so firstly let's crop this photo um, into a square size because um, like I said, Instagram uh, format is uh, posting square size photos. So um, let's keep the bird, which is the subject in the center, and then crop the square um, around it. And ambience is, um, so the subject is bird here. So everything around it will be the ambience. So you can either enhance it or decrease it. So I'll, I'll reduce a bit because like I said, um, we're focusing more on the bird so if the background is plain and not so bright um, it'll, uh, it'll enhance the bird more so yeah we'll reduce the ambience a bit now already the bird's eye is standing out which is what we want so i'm just increasing more structure more structure and sharpness um, increases the uh, clarity of the photo um, it, it makes it look more crisp um, which is what we want for the eye to look out so yeah I'm just increasing the 
structure and the sharpness yeah so that's it that should be good um, yeah the bird is brighter the background is uh, plain not so bright and the eyes is popping out so yeah this looks good simple easy editing okay let's look at the second photo now so the second photo is also by sitara um, again she's a bit crazy like that uh, because i asked her to send one photo and she sent me like a list of tens of photos for me to choose from um, but i chose this one because um, this is a nice photo um, i feel um, there's a lot more potential in this photo uh, there's more scope to play with the colors um, so as you can see this photo uh, it's a dark background it's it's a night photo um, so i chose this one because the first two the first photo that i chose was a light background so i thought i'll uh, for a change i'll choose a dark background it's um, so as you can see there's there's only little light uh, from behind the tree and the uh, house or a cottage uh, but there's nothing else but um, i feel this photo looks better if i if i put some blue light on this um, it's going to uh, i by adding blue light it makes the photo look more foggy and um, usually the night night times are represented by blue color for some reason so it looks better with blue light so let me add in some blue light um, and also because of the because of the foggy look and uh, because it's so uh, lonely and everything it makes the photo look even more creepier which is the best part um, so in the original photo it has more uh, hazy reddish look so uh, when you make it more blue it looks more creepier more horror so uh, it'll be it'll be fun editing this photo okay so for this second photo um, i'll be using uh, adobe lightroom app for this uh, because uh, adobe lightroom is a more premium uh, editing software and it has more uh, advanced features and uh, also i have a particular image in my mind about this uh, how i want to see this and i think um, adobe lightroom will be able to help me get um, the particular image um, okay so i've got this layer called cool light um, <coughs> which has got which has got a bit of blue color bluish color to the layer preset so i'll put that one and then i'll enhance the um, exposure a bit and then i'll enhance the contrast contrast uh, gives you a more blackish touch and i'll decrease a bit of highlights um, so that uh, that also again gives more blackish which enhances the night uh, nightness of this photo and then i'll increase a bit of whites in the particular area and then i'll also um, increase the clarity which gives that sharpness uh, in the tree the leaves and everything it's more crisper um, yeah just just making it as much creepy as i can do with this uh, edit the more creepier this photo looks uh, the more better it looks so yeah so i've added blue light i've just enhanced a bit of the reddish light that's in the um, that's coming from the cottage uh, which is also creepy again because um, it's kind of reddish uh, evilish color and yeah the background has this bright bluish white color and then there's red light coming from the cottage so this is definitely creepy i love this i love this photo um yeah so this looks amazing um you can see the difference between the old one and the new one here okay so let's move on to the third one um this photo is such a wonderful photo um i just love it um uh, the the innocent faces of uh, these uh, kids are so well highlighted in this photo um look at their eyes um their, their eyes has so much to tell um you can just 
um, you you don't you don't need anything in this photo. Just look at their eyes and you can see a whole lot of story. Uh, the only thing that I have a problem with this photo is uh, there's too much uh, orangish uh, in this photo. Uh, I think it's because the photo is clicked um, during the sunset, so I think it just makes the entire photo um, orangish. So, by the way, this photo is um, shared to me by my very good friend again and a really good photographer, Chinmay. Um, so he he shared this photo. And I know for a fact that he has clicked this photo. So um, it's he uh, good job in my uh, really good photo. So um, I was thinking, um, let's let's do something different with this photo. So because because this is a portrait photo of three kids, and the eyes are so well uh, so well captured, I thought let me go black and white with this photo. Because uh, one thing about capturing the eyes um, is it looks it, it looks better when it go when you um, when you do black and white with it. So um, yeah, I was thinking we'll just we'll just go completely black and white um, and see and just leave it to the eyes to capture uh, all the attraction. So so um, I'm again using for. Uh, Adobe Lightroom for this, um, and I'll be using one of the black and white presets, um, which is black and white punch. I'll be using uh, the preset black and white punch, uh, which has uh, which has a really good touch and touch to it. And then I'll be uh, then I'll be uh, just making uh, minor changes to this. Um, let me enhance a bit of whites in this photo uh, just to make it more uh, to give it more brightness and then I'll reduce a bit of blackness um, and of course my favorite increasing the sharpness and the clarity so I'll just increase the sharpness everything is just perfect in this photo I don't have to do anything much so um, yeah just sharpness and clarity um, yeah, I think that's it. A little bit of contrast increase. I'll just increase a little bit of contrast, and then um, there's this feature called um, radial gradient, where you can you can choose a particular part of the subject, and then you can work on it. So I'll be choosing. Um, I'll be I'll be using this um, radial option on these particular kids eyes and then I'll sharpen sharpen it so that the eyes stands out even better so um, yeah just just increasing the sharpness just for the eyes yeah so that's about it perfect I love it um, just plain black and white still so powerful photo so much to tell about this so much to talk about this um, and yet so simple love it okay so the last and final photo of the day um, this um, this one um, I chose this particularly because of the complexity of this photo um, there's so much happening in this photo um, there's there's this building and there's um, there's this flag uh, which looks like a UK flag for me uh, that's there and there's lights uh, lit everywhere and this is a long shot landscape shot um, so um, when you're trying to edit some and when you're trying to edit a photo like this you really don't know what you're looking um, to edit because there's so much to um, focus the subject the subject matter is um, not clear so uh, that's the reason I particularly uh, chose this photo to experiment and see uh, what I'll get out of it so um, again for this one as well I'll be using Adobe Lightroom uh, because I just love the presets that's available in the Lightroom so um, I'll be going with modern 07 
preset for this which has um, which looks like it um, it enhances the lights projecting on the building which is what i want because the entire building is has been lit uh, from the bottom but it doesn't um, reflect in the original photo so i'll just try to enhance the lighting that's available and then if i look closely i can also see uh, the color of the sky is different it's just not black or blue uh, i can see a bit of uh, violet in it i think it's just um, sunset in that place when the photo was clicked and i can still see violet rays um, in the sky so i'll see if i can uh, enhance the color um, to make it to make the sky look more beautiful while uh, yeah that's it i just i just want to enhance the lighting for the building and then just play around with the sky yeah so let's see how it uh, appears all right i'm pretty happy with the edit um looks decent um i've, I've just blacked out uh, everything that's um, closer to the photo which means uh, front of the gate um, because it's it's not wanted uh, we're focusing more on the building so i just uh, increased the black color in the photo which just blacked out everything unwanted and then i'm happy i could bring out the violet color in the sky uh, it looks beautiful and then um, like i wanted uh, the building is highlighted the lighting has been enhanced so yeah um, i think i've done a pretty good job with this all right guys that's today's video um, these four amazing uh, photos that were really clicked uh, well um, it's just not my editing uh, half of the job was already done by the people who had sent me this because they had clicked really well um, i had really fun um, editing these photos uh, i know a lot of others have sent photos as well uh, but um, i chose uh, only four photos per episode because this is going to be a really long video um, so um, I'll be I'll be doing more episodes uh, and I'll be choosing your photos in the upcoming episodes as well. Um so yeah, if you like the video, if you like my editing process, send me your photos to um the email address that I that you can see here, nativeworld58 um 058 at gmail.com and um I'll try to choose the best ones and I'll try to choose um the ones that are uh standing out that's interesting that looks interesting and um yeah i'll be coming up with another video soon another editing video until then keep sending your photos to this email and also take care bye bye